this video we are going to learn is about your preparation of monohalohydrocarbon also known by the name alkyl halide and represented by the symbol Rx. Now do remember this X means halogen it can be fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine whereas this R can be dissolved. If you replace R with CH3 it is called methyl. If you add CH2 out here it becomes ethyl. And again, if you add CH2 out here, it becomes propyl. So methyl, ethyl, propyl are the example of R. There are many other examples, which I said you in my previous video, like isopropyl, T-butyl are also the example of R. Okay. And do remember here, ethyl can be written as CH3, CH2, or you can write this as C2H5 also. You can see the total C is out here is 2 and H is 5. So C2H5, but I usually go with this formula. So methyl means CH3, add CH2 becomes ethyl, again add CH2 becomes propyl. So this is your alkyl and this is your halide. Now we are going to see its preparation. The first preparation is very, very important students from alcohol. This is very, very important preparation of alkyl halide. Alcohol general symbol is ROH. Okay, this OH means what? Alcohol. Do remember in organic chemistry, OH means alcohol and R means alkyl group it can be methyl ethyl propyl as i said you earlier and when you prepare alkyl halide from alcohol okay it's very very important students and we can prepare it in three ways we can prepare alkyl halide from alcohol by reacting with pcl5 known by the name phosphorus pentachloride or by reacting with alcohol with socl2 and this is known by the name thionyl chloride because sulfur is also known by the name thio or by reacting alcohol with px3 and this PX3 is called phosphorus trihalide. If you put here chlorine, phosphorus trichloride, bromine, phosphorus tribromide, iodine, phosphorus triiodide. So let us see how to prepare alkyl halide from alcohol. And it is very, very important, students. All the three types, how to prepare alkyl halide from alcohol are important, A, B, C. So we go with the A now, okay? Now, students, this is the formula of alcohol, ROH. And you are reacting with PCL5. Now what we get this side. So do remember here PCL5 can be written as PCL3 CL CL. This is your rough work. You can break PCL5 this way. This is your rough work. In which this H will go with one of the CL to form HCl as one of the product. Then this O from here goes with PCL3 to form POCl3. The name of this compound is phosphorus oxychloride. The name of this compound is phosphorus oxychloride. Now here H is gone with Cl to form HCl. O went with PCl3 to form POCl3. What is left here? R. That R will combine with this leftover Cl to form alkyl chloride. So this is referred as what students? Alkyl chloride. Oh, so you all understood till here? This is called alkyl chloride students. Now let us go with the particular example. I can replace R with CH3 called methyl. I can replace this R with CH3, CH2 called ethyl. I can replace this R even with propyl by uh, adding one more CH2, but I will go with methyl and ethyl. So this is a methyl. If I put OH, it becomes methyl alcohol. This is your ethyl. If I put OH, it becomes ethyl alcohol. And do remember, IPEC name of methyl alcohol is methanol. Methyl alcohol is also known by methanol. An IPEC name of ethyl alcohol is known by the name ethanol. OL means alcohol. OL stands for alcohol in IPC name. Now here also I am reacting this compound with PCL5. Here also I am reacting this compound with PCL5 to get alkyl halide from alcohol. So you can see out here students. So you can see here students from above. How you can break this PCL5? This can be broken, broken down as PCL3. Cl and Cl. So this H will go with Cl to form HCl. This O will go with PCl3 to form POCl3 known by the name phosphorus oxychloride. Now here what is left? CH3. Now in place of this OH from here one leftover Cl will come to form methyl chloride. Hope so understood. So this is how we convert methyl alcohol to methyl chloride. And here also I can break this PCL5 as PCL3 CLCL. This is for yourself, okay, not to show to the examiner. So this H and Cl will go out to form HCl. And this O will go with PCL3 to form phosphorus oxychloride, POCl3, 
Now what is left that side? CH3, CH2. That will combine with leftover Cl from here to give you ethyl chloride. So this is called methyl chloride, this is called ethyl chloride. And both are the alkyl halide obtained from alcohol by reacting with PCL5 and these are the two byproducts. These two are referred as byproduct students. Now you know this is methyl chloride. Its IPEC name is chloro. There is one chloro, so we write chloro. For one carbon, we say methane. IPEC name is chloromethane. Now here is also one chloro, so write chloro. And two carbon means ethane. So methyl chloride is called chloromethane. Ethyl chloride is called chloroethane. Remember, and this is how we convert alcohol to alcohol halide by reacting with PCl5, and we get chloride compound. Not bromide, not iodide, not fluoride. When you put PCl5, you get chloride compound. Students, also you all understood. But if you observe here properly, what you observe here is, here is R, here is R, here is methyl, here is methyl, here is ethyl, here is ethyl, same to same. But I have replaced OH with Cl, OH with Cl, OH with Cl. So from here you need to remember the trick. And the trick is like this, whenever you want to remove OH from alcohol, and in place of that, if you want to add Cl, okay? What you can use is PCl5. So remember now, if you want to remove OH from any compound, and in place of that, if you want to introduce Cl, if you want to remove OH from any compound, and if you want to introduce Cl in place of that, you want to remove OH, you want to introduce Cl, you always react with PCl5. The pattern I have explained you, and the byproduct will be this two. Now we go with the next one. Okay, thionyl chloride. Now again, this is your alcohol ROH. I am reacting with thionyl chloride SOCl2 to convert it to alkyl halide students. Now when you do so again, you can break this thionyl chloride as SOCl and Cl. So when you do so, this H and Cl will go out as HCl. This O goes with SO to form SO2 sulfur dioxide. Now what is left here? R. And now in place of this, leftover Cl will come to form RCl, that is alkyl chloride again students. Okay, now we go with the particular example. In place of R, I write methyl, I have written ethyl. In place of R, even I can write methyl or any other alkyl group or any other alkyl group. But right now I have written R as methyl and ethyl, you can write anything. So here I am going to write is OH and here also I am going to write is OH. Okay, till here. Now students, you react them also with thionyl chloride and this is your raw form. So you know that one of the Cl from here goes with H to form HCl and SO will go with O to form SO2. Same here also, you get HCl and SO2. Now students, now here SO went with O to form SO2, SO went with O to form SO2, H and Cl going to form HCl, one Cl is still left and from here OH is removed, from here also OH is removed. In place of these two OH, from here one one Cl will come to form methyl chloride and ethyl chloride, also known by the name chloromethane, also known by the name chloroethane. So again if you observe here, here was OH, it has been replaced with Cl, here is OH, it has been replaced with Cl. So now, so whenever you want to remove OH and to introduce Cl in any reaction, either you react with PCl5 or else you can even put thionyl chloride. Both does the same job. So whenever you want, this is the main part to be remembered, student. So do remember, whenever you want to remove OH and to introduce Cl, always put PCl5 or SOCl2. Okay? When you put any of these two, OH will convert to Cl. But only the byproduct will be different. If you use PCl5, byproduct will be this two. And if you use thionyl chloride, byproduct will be this two. But the main product will be same. Now the third one from alcohol again. From phosphorus trihalide. Now to prepare from here again, I'll take the general example first. This is your alkyl halide. You're reacting with phosphorus trihalide. So when you do so, when you react specially with phosphorus trihalide, you take three molecules of alcohol. Okay, you're going to react with three molecules of alcohol. So when you do so, when you react with trihalide, you have to react with three molecules. Do you remember? So these three R will combine with three X to 
to form 3Rx. So we got alkyl halide, Rx means alkyl halide, 3R, 3X. Now what is left here is P. And what is left here is 3H and 3O. What is left here is 3H and 3O. So write here 3H and write here 3O. So when you use this, the byproduct will be phosphorus acid. This is known by the name phosphorus acid. So again we convert alkyl halide to alcohol to alkyl halide by reacting with PCl3, PX3. Now in place of R, I am writing methyl. In place of R, I am writing ethyl. Hmm. Now here is alcohol, here is also alcohol, this is methyl alcohol, ethyl alcohol, known by the name methanol and ethanol. Now here students, I'll react this with PCl3. This one I react with PPr3. I'm using different halogen this time. So when you do so, I said you when you react with trihalide, you're going to take three molecules of alcohol. So three methyl will combine with three chlorine to form three methyl chlorine. That is methyl chloride. Three methyl, three chlorine. Three methyl, three chlorine. Now what is left here? P. And from here, OH is left how many? Three. So three H, three O will give you H3, PO3 called by the name phosphorus acid. Second one also, when you're reacting with three molecules, trihalide, you have to take three molecules of alcohol. When you do so, so three ethyl, three ethyl will combine with three bromine to form three ethyl bromine, or you can say ethyl bromide. Three ethyl, three bromide. Now what is left here again? Phosphorus. And from here, three OH is left means three H and three O, which is phosphorus acid. You could have taken here iodine also, that is PI3. If you take PI3, it is called phosphorus triiodide. Everything will be same, but you will get here methyl iodide. Here also everything will be same, you get ethyl iodide. So students, you can see here, here also I have removed OH and I have introduced X. I have removed OH and I have introduced X. That is chlorine or bromine or iodine. So that means if you want to convert, if you want to remove OH from a compound and want to introduce Cl, Either you can put PCl5 or SOCl2. So if you put this, OH will convert to Cl. If you put this also, OH will convert to Cl. Only the byproducts will be different. If you use this, this will be the byproduct. If you use this, these two will be the byproduct. But we have a third option. You can even use PCl3, PX, phosphorus trihalide. That time also OH gets replaced, Cl will get added. But for this, the byproduct will be for this byproduct will be hypophosphorus acid. So if you use PCl5, this two will be the byproduct. If you use silyl chloride, this two will be the byproduct. If you use PCl3, this will be the byproduct. Whereas the main product in all the cases will be same. But if you want here iodine, then you cannot use PI5 or SOI2. Such compound does not exist. But you can take PI3. So if you want iodine out here in place of OH, you put PI3, byproduct will be phosphorus acid. If you want here Br, then you take PBr3, okay, but this two is only for chlorine. So 1 and 2, if you want to convert OH to Cl, we add 1, 2, 3. But if you want here bromine or iodine, you have to use your PI3 or PBr3, then you get bromine iodine compound out here. And for that, the byproduct will be phosphorus acid students. So by this we come to the first preparation of your alkyl halide, monohalo hydrocarbon, monohalo hydrocarbon known by the name alkyl halide from alcohol student. And main trick you have to remember is this one. If you want to remove OH from a compound and if you want to introduce Cl, always use any of these three. Also you all understood. Okay, so we have finished the first preparation. So in my next video we are going to learn some more preparation of alkyl halide.